Welcome to Faith Revival Holiness Church, also Faith Revival Place International. I'm your host, Mr. and Prophet M.J. Hughes. Let's begin in prayer. Father, we love you. We cherish you. We thank you, Father, for all that you do through our lives, your holiness, our confessions, and significations, uh, which are strength, not weaknesses at all, and so that, that we could be clean and you make us clean as we confess our ways before you. We love you. Thank you, Father, for helping us. And it's the time of a, a, a wicked um, world that we live in now. People that choose to be wicked over being righteous. And, and Father, let us choose all the way, all, all the things that are good that you have for us to do. Father, I pray and I, I strengthen uh, my fellow ministers that are trying to go forward and as well with what is holy and good in their sight uh, one one day at a time every day and we thank you father we praise you I pray for all the business to open up to 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 not be intimidated uh, by unrighteous leaders but the righteous leaders let them arise and take their place at the wicked leaders I pray and I thank you, Father, that the ministers of all sorts will understand that they need to, to get a hold of, of the Shekinah glory upon their lives and the fullness of glory of God's word, of all of it. Even the stuff that Constantine tried to destroy, that thank God some of it um, has came back and some of it was in the word, but uh, some uh, unrighteous people took it out. And uh, so we thank you, Father, for these things that we, we go forward in you. I hope of glory, the Shekinah Yeshua. We thank you and praise you. Amen. All right. Um, we're going to do some more Jubilees, Book of Jubilees. Um, and, yeah, basically what Jubilees means is, is 50. It's 50. Um, but they're also, God's been revealing not only there's a 50-year jubilee, but every 50 days there's a jubilee of days that um, I'm, I'm working on. I'm, I'm seeing uh, when I have a little spare time, that is, uh, look into um, where it lies. And it should be done through the Hebrew calendar, um, the closest that we have to the original uh, agriculture ca calendar that God instituted from that it you know in the days of Noah and all those things that he gave those things out um, but you pretty much can know when a, a new month is I'm gonna um, let you know it's when the new moon happens and then you start seeing a slight sliver that is always means that we're starting a new month agriculturally um, biblically as well um, that's the start of a new month. Not not the, what the pagan calendar says. Um, and for the most part, the Hebrew calendar and uh, Arabic calendar is a, a lot more, less errors that, than uh, all the way around than, than the uh, Gentile calendar, the Gregorian calendar. Um, but yeah, that's the start of a, of a new moon going in the slight where it reveals a little of the light, just a little bit. That's a brand new month. And um, so I, I said all that um, because it's important that we know about these things. That uh, And so from, from the point of the first month uh, in the Hebrew calendar, the, you count 50, and that's a jubilee of days. And every 50 after that is a jubilee of days. Um, so there's importance to every 50 days, um, as well as every 50 years. So you can actually have quite a few jubilee of days. And in that day, there's something special that happens. And we just don't know it, you know, it's, but it's, it is important they're observed that that actually is a, a very important, a very uh, important things happen. So I wouldn't doubt of most of these, um, the festivals of Yahweh, which is not the festivals of Jews. No, it's the festivals of Yahweh. 
um, is set up on that system every 50 uh, days of Jubilee. Um, and then, you know, um, the, the more uh, out more out there, you know, with the 50 uh, Jubilee year, um, they all, it all works out. I mean, God's calendar, amen. And I really believe that he's restoring that too at these last days, but there's a lot of things he's restoring, amen. So let's begin this um, lesson today with lots of joy and uh, knowing that God is our purification as we surrender, as we surrender to God as we confess our ways he purifies us then and this is the lesson we're going to talk about Jubilees uh, uh, Barar Hebrew for purity God is our purity amen and he as we confess our sins our misfortunes or even things that we just feel like maybe we could have done a little bit better or things we don't even know that we could have done better on or whatever we confess our ways before God and the mediator, which is the spirit of God, you know, all the five words that mean what Yeshua uh, said about Yeshua, Jesus is the spirit of God. See, he is the spirit of God because the problem is people look on the outside of what he was. He took upon himself human flesh. Yes, but the real Yeshua, the real Jesus is in the inside. And this is where we do error on, on ourselves and our relationship that we could have beautiful with the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Yeshua, is of who he really is. Amen. And he, he dwells. He's all present. Just like God is. Spirit of God be the same way because it is the Spirit of God, Yeshua. And so he can be with us, in us. But also at the same time ministering to the angels to go forth and and and, and help things and, and make things better on the earth. But also he could be in heavenly places all at once. Just like God could do that, but he is God, the creator part of who he is, has not stepped off his throne. The last time he did this was when he was fellowshipping the cool day with Adam and Eve. Okay? So just remember that, and that's the way it's going to be again. So you might say when Yahweh comes back, it is a second coming for him. Because he, the last time he was on here is when Adam and Eve was made in the Garden of Eden. And he in the fellowship with them in the cool day. And the Spirit of God was always with them. You know, and in the cool day is when Yahweh would come and fellowship with them. I mean, all of God loves um, his creation and and uh, it's always, they've always been there from day one. Amen for us. And remember, Yahweh is one. Whether we're talking about the creator part of Yahweh or the spirit part of Yahweh, which is Yeshua. Amen. And the five meanings of who he is, you know, that it talks about. Now, um, I got to get going with this lesson, but we'll, we'll, we'll say them because they're important. The mediator. The Shekinah, the Emmanuel, the Comforter, and uh, last but least, the Shaddai. Amen. Shaddai meaning the, the mighty. Uh, Shekinah meaning uh, the presence or the or, or the breath of life. Uh, Emmanuel, uh, well, Emmanuel being the um, the um, God is with us. And a mediator is just clearly what it is. It's it's uh, he stands in the gap for us. And last but least, the comforter, the comforter that comforted us when we're going through a weak spot in our life, or maybe we're real strong, but we don't realize that we gotta kind of watch it. And so he comforted us in in those times too. Amen. And that's Yeshua in the nutshell. Amen. And that's 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 beautiful, isn't it? So let's. Begin this lesson, amen. Uh, Jubilees 31, 1 to 32, 32, 1 to 34, 33, 1 to 23, and 34, 1 to 21. Yeah, it seems a lot, and it, it can be a little bit wordy here, but it all comes together. And remember, these verses are very sharp, you know, too. So, all right. 
And it says on the new moon, right? like I said, the new moon, and then it gets a little light in there. That's a new month. And, and on the new moon of the new moon of the month, Jacob spoke to all his people in his house, saying, Purify yourself, change your garments, let us arise and go up to a Bethel. Bethel means God, I mean a uh, house of God. Beth, house. And then L is, is a short term for God. Where I vowed a vow to him. You know, it's in pearl. It's after saying God. And, you know, remember I told you the harmony that God's in? It's talking about his spirit, Yeshua here. You know, you might as well just put it in there to make it very common sense here. And, and very understandable. Where I vowed a vow to Yeshua, the Shekinah. Okay. On that day when I fled from the face of Esau, my brother, because he had been with me and brought me into the land of peace and put thee away, the strange gods that art um, amongst you. And they gave up the strange gods that which were in the, the ears, which was on, the, on their neck and idols, which uh, uh, Rachel sold from Levin, her father, and she gave uh, holy to Jacob. And he buried and broke them to pieces, destroyed them and hid them under the oak, which is in the land of uh, uh, Shechem. So basically, you see what's going on here is... Um, See, he took, he took and showed her that you should not be doing these idols, you know. And the other thing that I, all these idols, can, they can have evil spirits in them. This is why you don't want to have nothing that, that could be represented as an idol. Even if for a decorate, get rid of it. Break it. Get rid of it. Like Jacob did. If Jacob, Jacob is like the elder compared to all of us, right? And he broke the idols. He didn't put them as a decoration. He got rid of them. He buried them and broke them. You know? And all these idols can have evil spirits in them. Okay? Um, and um, basically these false gods that they worship were nothing but demons. They were trying to pretend they with the people that uh, they were gods. You know? Because that they, they, they longed for the the uh you know attention so to speak and and so they do these things these evil things and then they they take them away from the true living god then and say this is why jacob broke it all i mean you don't want to have no idol in your house not even for a decoration get rid of it get rid of it do what jacob did he's our elder right he's been around for a long time he's in heavenly places but he's been around okay and he went up on the new moon, on the seventh month of Baal, which means the house of God. Beautiful name, isn't it? And he built an altar at the place where he had slept. And he sent up a pillar on there. And he, and he sent the word to his father, Isaac, to come to him to sacrifice. And to, to his mother, uh, Rebekah. And Isaac said, let my son Jacob come. Let me see him before I die. And Jacob went to his father Isaac and to his mother Rebekah, to the house of his father uh, Abraham. And he took two of his sons with, with him, Levi and Judah. Amen. Levi and Judah. Praise God. And he came to his father Isaac, to his mother Rebekah. And Rebekah came forth from the tower to the front of him and kissed Jacob, the, the sides of his cheek. That was custom. And embraced him. For her spirit had re revered when she heard, Behold, Jacob, my son has come. And she kissed him. And she saw his two sons. She recognized them and said unto 
them. Are these thy sons, my son? And she embraced them with a kiss and blessed them, saying, In you shall the seed of Abraham become uh, enlightened, and they shall uh, uh, prove a blessing on, on these, these two sons with them, with him. And he took the hand of his father and uh, stooped down and he kissed him. And Isaac clung to the neck of Jacob, his son. They were very affectionate those days. When you think you're affectionate now, you don't have nothing on, on, on how affectionate the families got in the old days. Yep, and, and I tell you what, people that are saved, when you see God, you're going to be blown away how affectionate he is. He, you don't even have close to how affectionate God gets. So just you remember all that. And, and he went upon his neck, and, and the darkness left his eyes of Isaac, and he saw the two sons of Jacob, Levi and, and Judah, and said, Are these your sons, my son? For they like, like thee. And he says unto him that they were truly his sons, and thou have truly seen that they are truly my sons. And they came near to him. They turned and kissed uh, him, them, embraced him both together. And the spirit of prophecy came down into his mouth. And he, and he took Levi by his right hand and Judah by his left. And he turned to Levi first and began to bless him first. And it said unto him, May God of all, the very Yahweh of all the ages, bless thee, thy children, throughout all the ages. And may Yahweh give thee and to your seed greatness and great glory, and cause thee and thy seed from among all flesh to approach him to serve in the sanctuary, him after God, him is the spirit, okay? And that, that's Yeshua. To, to approach Yeshua, the, the Shekinah, to serve him in the sanctuary as the angels of the presence. So we are like the angels of the presence. The, my tribe that I belong to, Levi. I also have Judah and Asher too, I found out. But yeah, we're... The, the angels of the presence and the holy ones, even as thy shall see the seed of thy son be glory, the seeds of thy sons be glory and greatness and holiness. And may he make them great upon the ages, and they shall be judges and prince. So we're not only, we're not only, uh, um, basically uh, the priests and uh, uh, studiers, but we're also judges and princes, pr prince. Well, I guess if you're a lady and you're from Levi, you can be a princess, of course. And chiefs and chiefs of all the seeds of the sons of Jacob. And they're chiefs too. That's neat. And, and they shall speak the words of Yahweh's righteousness, so, and they shall judge all his peoples in righteousness, and they shall declare my ways to Jacob, and my paths unto Israel. Bless, blessings of Yahweh shall give given in their mouths to bless all the seeds of his beloved. Remember, beloved uh, in Hebrew is Elavi. Um, and they and and thy mother has called thy name Levi, and a just shall call thy name, and thou shalt be joined with Yahweh, and he 
Be compassionate of all the sons of Jacob. Let his table be thine, and do thou and thy sons eat thereof. And may the table be full unto all generations, and thy food fail not unto all generations. And let all who hate thee fall down before thee. And let all the adversaries be uprooted out of thy presence. And the blessings be that bless thee. And a curse to every nation that curse thee, O Levi. And to Judah, he says, May Yahweh give thee strength and power to tread down all that hate thee. A, pr a prince shalt thou be. Thou have one of the, thy sons over the sons of Jacob. And may thy name and the name of thy sons go forth and, and travel every land and region. And when, the, and when shall the Gentiles, the heathen tree, fear before thy face? And all the nations shall quake, and all the people shall quake. And thy shall be the help to Jacob. And then they find the salvation to Israel. Amen. We know that one, don't we? And when thou sittest on thy throne of honor, of thy righteousness, thou shalt be great peace for all the seeds of the sons of my beloved, Elohim. Beloved, remember that is the word of words above all the other things. He wants to be, he, we are his beloved. Amen. Our, he's our, we are Elohim's to God. Blessed be he that bless, bless thee. And all that hate thee and, and affect thee with curses, they shall be uprooted out and destroyed from the earth. And be uh, accursed. And turn, turning, he kissed them again, braced them, rejoiced greatly, and he seen that the sons of Jacob, and, um, and truly, and he went forth between uh, the feet and fell down, bowed down to them, blessed them. Rested there with 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 Isaac his father that night, and and ate and drank with joy, and he made the two sons of Jacob sleep, one on the right and, and on the the left, and it was counted to him for righteousness. And Jacob told his father every everything during the night, and how Yahweh had shown his great mercies, and how. He had prospered him in all his ways, protected him from all the evil. And Isaac blessed God of the father of Abraham and, and not withdrawing of his mercies and righteousness from the sons of his servant Jacob. And in the morning, Jacob told his father Isaac the vow which he had vowed to Yahweh and, and the vision which he seen, and that he had built an altar that everything was ready for a sacrifice to, to make before Yahweh as his vow. That he came in to set, uh, to set on the donkey. And Isaac said unto Jacob his son, I am not able to go with thee, for I am old and not able to bear. And the ways go, my son, in peace. Shalom. For I am one hundred and sixty-five years old days, and I am no longer able to journey, set my thy mother on the donkey, and let her go with thee, and, and know, my son, that thou hast come on my account, 
and may this day be blessed which thou hast seen me alive, and also I have seen thee, my son. May thou prosper, fulfill in, in the vows which thou hast vowed, and put not off thy vow, for thou uh, be called to the account as touching the, the vow. Now therefore make hence to perform it, and may be uh, pleased who has made all things, to whom that has vowed the vow. And he said to Rebekah, Go, thy Jacob, thy son. And, and Rebekah went with Jacob, his son, and uh, Deborah with her. And they came to Bethel, the house of God. And Jacob remembered the prayer which his father had blessed him and his two sons, Levi and Je uh, Judah. And he rejoiced and blessed the God of his father, Abraham and Isaac, and said, Now I know that I have eternal hope, my sons also, before God of all. And thus is the ordinance continuing of the two. And they recorded it eternally testimonies of, un, unto them on the heavenly tablets and how Isaac blessed, blessed God. And they abide that night in Bethel, house of God. And Levi dreamed that they uh, ordained and made him the priest of the Most High God him and his sons forever. And he woke from his sleep and blessed Yahweh. And Jacob rose early in the morning and on that 14th of, of this month. And he gave a, a tithe of all that came to the, him, both men and cattle and both gold and every vessel of, of garments. They, he gave tithes of all. And in those days, Rachel became pregnant with her son, Benjamin. A lot of people call him Benjamin, but it's Benjamin. And Jacob called his son from, from him upright. And Levi fell to the portion of Yahweh, and his father clothed him in the garments of priesthood, filled his hands. And on the 15th of the month, he brought the altar 14th of, uh, 14 oxen from among the cattle, 28 rams, uh, 49 sheep, and seven lambs, 21 kits of goat, to burn, burn an offering unto the altar of sacrifice and well pleasing and sweet savor before God. And this was the offering, the, the vow which he had, had vowed that would give the tenth of their fruit offerings and their drink offerings. And, and the, the fire had consumed it burning incense on the fire and over the fire. And for the thanks offering, the two ox and four rams and the four sheep, uh, the four he goats and two sheep of, of a, a year old and two kids of the goats. And thus he did daily for seven days. And he all, all his sons of, of his the men were eating this with joy. And there during the seven days, the blessing and thanksgiving to Yahweh, who had delivered them out of, the, of, out of tribulation and have given him this vow. And he tithed all the clean animals and made burnt offerings. And he, but the unclean animals he gave not to Levi, his son. 
and he gave him all the, the souls of men. And Levi, Levi discharged the priestly offer, offer, office at Bethel, the house of God, before Jacob, his father, and performed to his ten brothers, and was the priest there. And uh, Jacob gave his vow. Thus he tenth uh, again, a tenth of uh, to Yahweh in the sanctuary. And it became a holy unto him for the reason it ordained of the heavenly tab tablets as a law for the, the tithing again for for uh, the for the law for where it is chosen that his name should be dwell and the the, the law there is no limits for days or or ever there's ordinance is written that is it may be fulfilled for year by year and eating and a second time before Yahweh in the place where he had been chosen. Uh, nothing shall remain over from it from year to year falling. For the year shall the seed be eaten till the days of gathering of the seeds of the year. And the wine until the days of the, of the wine. And all of, all of oil till the days of its season. And all that left thereof became old, and let let him regard uh, as a pollution. Let it uh, be burnt with fire, for it is unclean. So when things get old, you're supposed to get rid of it. Same. For it is unclean, and th thus let uh, him eat together in the sanctuary. And let them not suffer uh, it to become old. And all the tithes of the ox and the sheep shall be holy unto Yahweh, and shall belong to the priests, which they will eat before him year to year. For thus the ordinance and the and engraved uh, regarding the tithes of, of heavenly tablets. And on the ordinance of the night on the 22nd day of the month, Jacob resolved to build that place. And he surrounded the, the, the court with a wall. And to sec, the sanctification, it uh, made it holy for er, ever, for, for himself and his children after him. And Yahweh appeared to him by the night and blessed him and said unto him, Thy name shall be called Jacob, but Israel shall thy name be named. And he said unto him again, I am Yahweh who created the heavens and the earth, and I increase thee, multiply thee exceedingly. Kings shall come from from thee, and all the judges everywhere for for the the, the foot of thy sons a man have a tr triumph. And I will give to thee seed all the earth which is under heaven, and they shall judge all the nations according to their desires, and after they shall be set process of the whole earth and inheritance it forever so God told the Jacob that the 12 tribes of Israel the whole earth belongs to them and th this is another reason why there's a millennial because God is fulfilling that promise to the righteous that they will inherit the earth but also that the lands will be divided between the 12 tribes of Israel because he said the whole earth belongs to them, not just, you know, as, as inheritance. It belongs to them. And uh, the 12 nations in the millennial will be named after the 12 tribes of Israel. There'll be 12 nations 
Each nation will be named after one of the tribes of Israel. And from him, okay, let's see. And, and, and then he finished speaking with him, and he went up. And from him, Jacob looked till he had ascended unto heaven. And he saw in the vision of night, and behold, an angel descended from heaven. And with seven tablets in his hands, and he gave them to Jacob. And he read them and knew all that was written within them, which befell him and his sons through all ages. And he showed him all that was written on the tablets. And he said unto him, Do not build this place and do not make an eternal, eternal sanctuary. And do not dwell here for this is not the place. Go to the house of Abraham, thy father. Dwell with Isaac, thy father, until the day of the, the death of your father. For in Egypt thou shalt die in peace, and in, in the land thou shalt be buried. And with honor uh, to, the, to thy father, and with Abraham and Isaac, reverent, for as thou hast seen and read it, thou shalt uh, it all be. And do thou uh, write down everything as thou hast seen and read. And Jacob says, Yahweh, how can I remember all that I have read and seen? And he said unto him, I will bring all things to thy remembrance. And he went up from him, and awoke from his sleep, and he remembered everything which he had read and seen, and wrote down all the, the words which he had read and seen. And celebration there yet another day. And he sanctified thereon unto all the significations on the former days. And he called the name addition, for this day was added, and the former days he called the feasts. And thus it uh, was the manifestation that it, it should be. And he written on the heavenly and then, and it was written on the heavenly tablets, therewith it was revealed to him that he should celebrate it. And he added it to the seven days of the feast. And it, it, its name was called the addition, because that it was, was recorded amongst the days of the feast of days, according to the number of 30 days and of the year. And in that night on the uh, 23rd of the month, Deborah and, Re and Rebecca nurse died. And she was buried her uh, beneath the city under the oak of the, of the river. And he, and he called the name of this place, the river of Deborah. And the, and the oak, and the oak of the, the uh, morning of Deborah, because that Deborah's was the the nurse for Rebecca, his mother, and Rebecca went and returned to her house, to to the father Isaac. And Jacob sent by her hand rams and sheep, and he goes and she should uh, prepare a meal for his father such as he desired and he went after his mother till he came to the land of uh cabranton and he dwelled there and rachel bared a son in in the night caught his name the son of my sorrows for she suffered in giving birth but his father called him Benjamin, 
on the uh, the eleventh of the eighth month of the first of the sixth week of Jubilees, and Rachel died there, and she uh, was uh, buried in the land of if uh, if uh, rough, and the the same as Be uh, Bethlehem. And Jacob buried a pillar uh, of the grave of Rachel on the road above her grave. And then Jacob went and dwelt in the, the south of uh, Magetah and went uh, to his father Isaac and, and he and Lee Leah, his wife, on the new moon of the tenth month, and uh, Reuben saw a Baal and a Rachel's maiden, and the concubine of his father, bathing in water in uh, the secret place. And he, he loved her, and he did hid himself that night. And entered the house of uh, uh, Bethel at at uh, the night, and found her sleeping among on the bed in her house. And he laid with her, and she woke and saw, and behold, Reuben was lying with her in the bed, and she uncovered the the border of her covering and seized him, and cried out and discovering that it was uh, Reuben and she was astounded because of him and he and re released her hands from him and fell and she lamented because of this thing exceedingly and did not tell it to anyone and when when uh, Jacob returned and sought her. She said unto him, I am not clean for thee, for I have been defiled as regarded thee. For Reuben has defiled me and has laid with me at night, and I was asleep and did not discover until he uncovered my skirt and slept with me. And and Jacob was exceedingly wroth with, with Reuben because he had laid with uh, Baal because he had uncovered his fa father's skirt and Jacob did not approach her again because of Reuben had defiled her. As for any man who uncovers his mother of a father's skirt of, of this deed is wicked exceedingly for he is abomination before Yahweh. For the reason it is written in the ordinance and on the heavenly tablets that a man should not lie with his father's wife, should not uncover his uh, father's skirt, for this is unclean and shall surely die together. A man who lies with his father's wife and and woman also, for they have brought uncleanness into the earth. There shall be nothing, un nothing unclean before our God in the nations that which he has chosen for himself as a possession. And again, it is written in the second time, Cursed be who that lies with his wife of his father. For he has uncovered his father's shame, and all the holy ones of Yahweh says, So shall it be, so shall it be. And, and do thou, Moses commands the children of Israel, that they should observe the words for eternally as a punishment of death. If it is unclean. There is no atonement for ever of atonement for a man who has committed this, for he is to be put to death, slain, stoned, and uprooted for the midst of the people of God. 
for to no man who does this in Israel is permitted to remain alive in a single day on the earth. For he is a, a, a haver and unclean. And let and let them not say to Reuben for a, a great life of, of for, for forgiveness after he has la, uh, laid with his father's concubine, and to her, her also throughout she has a husband, and her husband Jacob, his his father was still alive for until that time there had not been revealed the ordinance and judgments and the laws and the completeness for all but in that day it has been revealed as a law of season of the days and everlasting law for everlasting generations for this law there is no consumption of days no atonement for it but they must both be uprooted out of the midst of the nation and on that day therewith they committed it they shall be slain there and do thou Moses write it down for Israel that they may observe it and do according to these words and not commit sin unto death. For Yahweh our God is the judge, who respects not respects not the person uh, except not, not gifts. And tell them these words of the covenant, that they may hear and observe and be thou regarded with respect to them not to be destroyed and uprooted of the land for an uncleanness and a behavior and uh, of a pollution of all that they commit and on the earth before our God and there is no greater sin than fornication which they commit on the earth for Israel is a holy nation unto Yahweh our God and the nations of inheritance and the priestly of royal nations for for his own possession and there shall no such unclean approach in the midst of a holy nation in the third year in the sixth week jacob and his sons went and dwelled in the house of abraham near isaac his father and rebecca his mother and these were the names of his sons of Jacob. The firstborn was Reuben, Shimon, Levi, Judah, uh, Issachar, Zebulun, the, the, son, the sons of Levi, I mean uh, uh, Leah, and the sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin. The sons of Billy were Dan and Nephtali and the sons of uh, Zepha, Gad and Asher and Dinah, which was the their sister, and the daughter of Leah, only daughter of Jacob, and they came and bowed themselves to Isaac and Rebekah, and when they saw them and blessed Jacob and all the sons of Isaac rejoiced singly, for he saw the sons of Jacob, the youthful son, he blessed them. In the sixth year of this week, on the the uh, the the forty fourth jubilee. The, the cub sent his sons to the pasture to, to sleep and his servants with them in the pasture of Shechem. And the seven, and the seven kings of the Ammonites assembled themselves together against them to slay them and hide themselves under the trees and to take their cattle as prey and Jacob and Levi and Judah and Joseph were in the house with Isaac their father. For, for his spirit was sorrowful and they could not leave him. But Benjamin was the youthest 
and for the reason remained with his father. And there came the kings of of, of uh, Tafo, of the kings of the area, and the kings of uh, uh, Surajan, and the king of uh, uh, Silo, and the king uh, Gaas, and the king Bavaron, and the king uh, Ma uh, Nisker, and the, those who dwelled in the mountains and who dwelled in the woods of the, the land of Canaan. They announced this to Jacob, saying, Behold, the kings of the Amorites have surrounded the sons and planted their herbs and, and arose from his house, and he and his three sons and all the servants of his father and his own servants. And he went against them with 6,000 men who carried swords, and he slew them in the pastures of Shechem, and pursued them who f fled. And and he uh, went to the edge of the sword with them, and, and uh, flew uh, uh, Aras and uh, Tumu and uh, Sargon and uh, Silo and the, the Amorites and uh, uh, Sagar and uh, uh, Gala as the, the uh, recovering the herbs and preventing, pre pre uh, preventing over them and the um, impulse of the tribal uh, on them that they should pay tribute of five fruits produce of their land, and he rebuilt uh, Robel and uh, Timnasus, and he returned in peace and made peace with them, and they became his servants unto this day. And he and his sons went down to Egypt, and in the seventh year of the week, and he sent Joseph to learn about the welfare of his brothers from the house of the land of Shechem. And he found them in the land of uh, uh, Dua, and they dwelled treacherously with him, and from a plot against him to slay him. But he, he, he uh, changed his mind and, and and they sold him to the Ishmaelites merchants, and they brought him down to Egypt, and they sold him to Potiphar, and uh, Enoch of the Pharaoh, and the chief of the cooks, and the priests of the city, uh, Elo, and the sons of, of, of Jacob slew a kit, and dripped the coat of Joseph in blood and sent it to Jacob, their father, on the tenth of the seventh month. And in the morning of the night they had brought to him in the evening, and he became uh, feverish with mourning for his death. And he says, An evil beast has devoured my Joseph. And all the remember. Uh, Members of his household mourned with him that day and grieved in mourning for all the days that his son and his uh, daughters rose up comfortably in him, and, re and he refused to be comforted by his sons. And on that day, uh, Bilhi Bil heard that Joseph had been perished, and she died mourning for him. And she was uh, living in uh, Qua, uh, uh, Fartaf. And Dinah, also his daughter, died uh, after Joseph had perished. And, and there came these three mourning unto Israel in one, one month. And they buried uh, Belai, Bela over against the tomb of Rachel. And Dinah, also his daughter, they buried there 
and, and he mourned for Joseph one year and did not cease and says, let me go down to the grave mourning for my son. For this reason, it is an ordinance for the children of Israel that they should uh, 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 affect themselves on the 10th of the seventh month. On the day that, that the news which made him weep for Joseph. And uh, they come to Jacob his father that they should make atonement for themselves therein. With the, the youth is goat and the tenth of the seventh month, or once a year, for this sins, for they have grieved uh, 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 the affections of their father regarding Joseph his son. And then this day that they be uh, uh, drained, that they should grieve thereon the sins, and for the transgressions and all the errors, so that they might cleanse themselves on that day once a year. And after Joseph uh, perished, the son of uh, uh, Jacob, till unto themselves their wives, the name of the name of Reuben's wife was Ada. The name of uh, Shimon's wife was uh, uh, Bela, a Canaanite. And the name of Levi's wife was um, uh, Melka, on, and, and of the daughter of Aram, and the seed of the sons of uh, uh, Tira. The name of uh, Judah's wife was uh, Bat-Tasol, uh, a, a Canaanite. And the name of Isaac, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Issachar, his wife was uh, his uh, and the name of Zubalan's wife was Niram and the name of Dan's wife was uh, Elga and the name of Nephtali's wife was Roso of uh, Mesopotamia yeah. and the name of, of Gad's wife was um, Mecca and the name of Asher's wife was Ajoa. The, the name of Joseph's wife was uh, Asinna, Asepha of the Egyptians. And the name of Benjamin's wife was uh, uh, Jaska. And Simeon's and, and Simeon re, uh, repented and took a second wife of, uh, from the Mesopotamia of his brothers. So there you go. It's a long read, but it has a lot to say about the children of Israel and how God blessed Levi with the priestly and, and Judah with the kingly, but also the fact that there there's five different things, not just the priestly for Levi, but also the chiefly blessing, being a chiefs and also being prince, and also uh, being, um, um, you know, the, the priests as well. Amen. And so we can see how Reuben uh, did wrong. He should have not laid with his father's wife like that. I mean, his, that was like a mother-in-law in a sense. That was very wrong, you know, to do. And so that's why God says, um, that that they're they're under a curse when you do something like that. It's very filthy and wrong because um, it, it's 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 very evil to defile your father's um, mother or mother-in-law like that. It's just it's not right. It's, it's unholy. Now a lot of people think nothing of it today because um, the devils of hell have they taught people to be this way. Okay, and this is why us ministers have to tell the truth that these things are not right. These are not good to be that doing those things. You're dishonoring. Reuben dishonored, so to speak, the mother-in-law. Okay, because he, she was a mother-in-law, a, a, a adopted mother, a mother-in-law type to Reuben. 
and uh, and so that you cannot do that. You cannot you cannot do those kind of things. It's sinful. You you profile that woman, and you profile yourself, and you jeopardize your salvation when you do those things. Um, and so I really pray for people that um, that are thinking about those things. So don't not to do it. It's not holy. It's not right. There's laws against those things of, of today as well on those things. It's it's on. It's it's not good. And then how. Um, you know how he, he, you know, they did with Joseph too. You know they got enviness in his heart for Joseph, the, the eleven brothers, except for the youngest, uh, Benjamin, which was with his father. But uh, the other ten was very jealous of Joseph because, you know, if you really read into things, Joseph was a, you know, his later teens, he, he was kind of a little bit. Like teens do sometimes, and just a little overly, uh, you know, aggressive of 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 uh, what he what he was going to do and how he, you know, and and they made his brothers jealous of him because he was, you know, overexerting his of of what God would do through him. Okay, and instead of just telling him in a humble way. He was getting a little bit boisterous, like a teenager would do, an older teenager would do, and and so it just brought enviness into his older brothers, and so they 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 went into see, so there was a bit of root there, and so therefore there's um, it goes into murder, and that's why you don't want to be envious of other people because. They, uh, if you allow that to stir and become bitter root in you, it can go right into murder. And this is what you'll find in many of scriptures and Psalms and elsewhere that not to allow that happen. Because heaviness is one of the second sins of Satan. The first one was rebelling against God, which a lot of the people in the world have. And they get that from Satan. Um, and also the second one is equal to what Satan fell was enviness, being envy of other th people and other things and what they have and all that. That was the second sin of Satan. And, and this is what humanity have, these two sins, because they ate of the forbidden fruit. And therefore, whatever Satan had, humanity got until they repent of this. And ask Yeshua Hamashiach, the Spirit of God, and, 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 and repent of those things. Repent of what they've done wrong. And cling to a relationship, the acts of grace. Uh, and, and then the river of, of, of life, of salvation is theirs. Amen. And therefore, they don't have that past sin, but they should not rehearse that sin again in their life. Of, of rebelling against God and enviness of other other people and other stuff, because when they do that, they're they're going back to that old nature that they don't want to be a part of. You don't want to be part of. Maybe you never accepted Yeshua, Hamashiach, the Spirit of God, into your life. Well, it's time to get right. If maybe you need to recommit your life to God and and uh, afresh. Well, pray this prayer. Dear God Yahweh, I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body as Lord and Savior of my life. Love you very much, Yeshua Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Uh, I bless my brand new brothers and sisters, my young ones, my young brothers and sisters. May they be blessed. May they ex explore the word of God and start in, in, in the John books. May they be, may they be fulfilled filled with the Spirit of God and may that the holiness of God be their their hearts desire and their minds desire at all times and I bless the these new ones these new babes and in, in, in Yeshua today and I and I and I think that that the whole angels 
of, of knowledge of, of the blessings of, of the Gospels be dispatched unto them and to teach them all things. And I pray that uh, they have an elder brother, elder sister, they can, they, can, they can call up and talk to them about things they wonder or ponder about in Scripture or, or, or things in their life they would like to approve upon. We thank you, Father, and we bless our younger brothers and sisters in the name of Yeshua, of Mashiach, of Yahweh, amen. May healing virtue of God be with you. May, may you go forth and may the healing, may signs and wonders and miracles be with you. May, may all things be good and you strive forward in God and not strive in the things of the cursed things of this world and no longer. May you go forth in the, as, as good people that serve a righteous God in all its ways and do what is best for, for you through the spirit of Yeshua upon you always. May the blessings be with you my fellow brothers and sisters that are that are born again, are part of the covenant, that are people of righteousness. Go forth now, forevermore. Amen. Shalom, shalom be with you. Wholeness, nothing severed, nothing broken, completeness of God. Through the King of Peace, Yahweh, and the Prince of Peace, the Spirit of Yahweh, Yeshua, be with you. Through the wholeness of knowing that, that you are family now. And must work on that family that you are with, with Yahweh and the Spirit of God. And confession is good for the soul. The sanctification, the strength that you must act, go forth in every day. I thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Amen. Shalom. Go in, go in love and feverishness for God. All the days of your life, my brothers and sisters. Blessings be with you forevermore.